Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here to review today The Babysitter, the newest movie released on Netflix and it was released on October the 13th. And it's a movie that stars Judah Lewis, Samara Weaving, Robbie Armell and Bella Thorne and is directed by uh, McGee. Surprisingly, which really surprised me when I saw it at the end because I didn't expect that at all. He's not particularly a well-liked director, I don't think. Um, and this movie tells a tale of a young lad who's, I think he's 11 or 12, and he's a bit unsure of himself, he's very unconfident, he's bullied a lot, and he still has a babysitter, basically. All his friends, none of his friends have their babysitters anymore, but he does still have a babysitter. But in actual fact, this babysitter is this really hot chick who everybody is jealous of and he has a really brilliant relationship with and they have loads and loads of fun when she babysits. But one of his close friends tells him that the next time she babysits he should stay up and see what she gets up to after he she thinks he's gone to sleep because, you know, we all know what babysitters get up to apparently when everybody else is asleep and this interests him obviously because he's a young lad so he does that he stays up and what he actually witnesses <laughs> is um he this babysitter and all of her friends downstairs uh, and they start committing blood sacrifices <laughs> and all this cult demonic stuff start going off the completely off the wall stuff so then it becomes a fight for survival all night. He's got to get through the night in one piece, uh, try to fight off these these cultists. People are dying left, right and centre. And it's completely and utterly bonkers, this movie. However, I absolutely bloody loved it. I thought it was fantastic, this movie. Such a load of fun. I can't tell you. Don't get me wrong, I'm, there are... There's an awful lot really you could throw at this movie in regards to problems. But it's so self-aware as what it is. It, it, you don't care. And it's almost like it's sticking, it, it sticks its fingers up to say, yeah, we well, know. We know it ain't perfect, but you're going to enjoy it nevertheless. And you're at, they're absolutely right. You do enjoy this movie. I don't think anybody could watch this movie, especially horror fans, and not have a great time with it. It's such a lot of fun. It really, really is a lot of fun. The violence and gore is completely off the wall. Um, it's got a great soundtrack. It's, it's filmed really, really well. The colours and everything and some of the unique camera work's really impressive. Um, the deaths are really inventive. It's like they must have sat and planned some of these deaths for days because they're just really fun and inventive. Um, and the ending... Is completely batshit crazy. In fact, the whole movie is to a certain degree batshit crazy, but you, you cannot help but like this movie. It's one of those horror movies that knows what it is, it's completely self aware, and it just dares you to have a good time with it. And you absolutely do have a good time with it. Um, I didn't expect, I didn't I even see a trailer going into this movie, I had no idea what to expect. Most Netflix movies are a bit like, a bit middle of the road, eh? you kind of understand why they aren't going to get a cinema release you know fairly watchable most of them this is the first netflix movie i've watched and i thought this would do well at the cinema especially at halloween this i think this would make this would have made a bucket load of money um great great fun however let's talk about some of these issues so the believability factor is completely out the window with this movie not that you'll care but it's it's so blatant and obvious. I mean, there's all this stuff going off in the middle of the night. Explosions, screaming, fireworks, um, police sirens, all this stuff going off. And not one neighbour comes out to check what's going on. If this if this was outside my house now and this happened at like 12 o'clock tonight, you know, fireworks going off and gunshots, everybody would be out on the street. It, it wasn't believable at all. Um, there's no explanation given really not a, not not a tangible explanation as to why they're doing these blood sacrifices really or why you would do it downstairs in the um, you know lounge of the person you're babysitting other than the fact that they want his innocent blood um, but she could have got that anytime because she doesn't plan on killing him she just wants to get the blood through injection because she wants to drug him to get it well she could have done that anytime you know left and did the blood sacrifices the following night in a warehouse somewhere 
So there's an awful lot of this movie that doesn't make sense, but you're not going to care watching it. It's a blast, is this movie. Um, really, really love this movie. Um, I can't wait to buy it. It's it, Horror genre films are not usually my favourites. I do enjoy them, but this film I think is impossible to dislike because it the positives far outweigh the negatives. 